With the news that Netflix will be bringing Conan back to life in a new live action series, we are beginning to wonder who could potentially be cast for the show. So Conan is coming to Netflix, and no, not the talk show host with the ginger swoop that's Conan, not Conan the muscle-bound barbarian. The role in live action was initially played by Arnold Schwarzenegger, and the first two films have gone down as cult classics, but since then, the franchise has struggled to make its way back to our screens. A third film in the Schwarzenegger series was touted, but eventually halted due to the commercial failure of the Austrian's films at the time, while Amazon reportedly were working on a Conan drama series two years ago, but that has seemingly fallen through now. I know nothing. A Thalsa Doom spinoff has also been in the works for some time, but failed to actually make its way to the screen. There was a revamped movie back in 2011 starring Aquaman and Carl Drogo actor Jason Momoa, but the movie was poorly received on a critical and commercial level, and a suggested sequel also never made it to the screen. But Netflix have bought out the entire property now and have access to the extensive Conan library. So who exactly will we be seeing, and who will they be played by? In this video, we will fancast some of the major Conan characters with who we would like to see in the roles. Although it is unclear at this time which characters will be appearing and what story it'll be based on. Our fan casting will include the big man Sumerian himself, his trusted allies, and all of his deadly nemesis. These are our fan castings for the new show. If there's anyone who should get a second chance, it's Jason Momoa. The 2011 movie he starred in may have been a box office bomb, but let's face it, Jason Momoa is arguably the perfect casting for the role. Ladies and gents love him alike, and he certainly has the physique, as well as a history in combat-based shows, and is an absolute force to be reckoned with. Plus, he has since proven he can be a leading man again, playing Aquaman in the DCEU, and is the lead in the TV shows Sea and Frontier. His stock has arguably never been higher, with his involvement in Denis Villeneuve's Dune being highly anticipated as well as Return to Atlantis with Aquaman. There was talk of a sequel to his Conan movie as recently as this year, so could this series serve as that sequel? The show could remain in the continuity of the movie, or they can just scrap it and start off with a new franchise here. Plus, by the sounds of it, Netflix may not just stop with a television series and may branch off into movies and other adaptations in the universe, and if you want to stake a franchise on a leading man, Jason Momoa just might be the guy, but who knows? Do you think that Jason Momoa deserves another bite of the cherry, or should it go to a new man? And if so, who? We may have someone else in mind. Another physical specimen who is popular with the ladies and gents alike is Joe Manganiello. The Magic Mike and True Blood star is again someone who has potentially the physical look, but has yet to really have the material to shine as a leading man. His career is set to finally take the next step up when or if he finally plays the role of Slade Wilson, aka Deathstroke in the DCEU, potentially alongside our other Conan choice, Jason Momoa. But his talents have felt somewhat underutilized so far. We've seen him as an action star in the likes of Rampage, but Joe has the talents and the charm to lead a series by himself and can potentially fit the bill for Conan. He also arguably looks more similar to the original iteration of the character created by Robert E. Howard, and is certainly believable as a fighter. If he is better suited more for the role than Jason Momoa, well that's up for debate, but the actor certainly matches some of the criteria. Plus, who doesn't want to see more Joe Manganiello on our screens, huh? last on our list of potential Conans, because let's face it, we could be here all day just debating who should play the Sumerian. The last person on our list is an arguably more grizzled star than the others on the list, who isn't shy about performing in high-profile franchises, and that person is Carl Urban. This potential casting is a little bit of an outlier, but is seemingly popular with a number of fans out there. While he may not have quite the same build and physique as Momoa or Manganiello, the Lord of the Rings and Star Trek star is certainly a tough guy, and can arguably offer a gruffer version of the character than the other two in this video. He also has experience being a leading man with his roles as Judge Dredd in Dredd, and most recently as Billy Butcher in The Boys, and could easily bulk up even further for the role. Just don't give him a bunch of assault rifles like in Thor Ragnarok. Every hero needs a villain, and for Conan that comes in the shape of Thalsa Doom. Thalsa is a powerful sorcerer and leader of the snake cult who often goes up against Conan, and did so in the 80s movie, where he was played by the voice of Darth Vader, James Earl Jones. In the comics, he had a skull-like face which actually inspired He-Man Skeletor, although that was changed in the movie. His main ability in the movie was to lead scores of peoples to their deaths, and he is a dangerous thorn in Conan's side. But who should play him? Yes. 
You know what it is, don't you, boy? Well, other than Jones, there was someone else in line to play him, and that was Blood Diamond and Guardians of the Galaxy actor Jaiman Honsu. There was a Thalsa Doom project back in development over a decade ago with Honsu attached to play him, but unfortunately it didn't come to fruition, possibly due to the failure of the Conan reboot in 2011. But Honsu is a great actor and deserves the opportunity to play Doom in the series, and could certainly bring a level of intimidation and physicality to the role. But when discussing the role back in 2008, Honsu also said that he wanted to bring further depth to the character and portray him more as a flawed hero, which will certainly be an intriguing take on the character. Maybe Honsu will finally get his chance to play the evil wizard. When movie producers are in a pinch and they're looking for a villain, they seemingly go towards Christoph Waltz. Alternatively, TV producers, when in a pinch, seemingly go with Giancarlo Esposito. So that's what we're gonna do here. Esposito is one of the go-to bad guys, and with good reason. Esposito has been a phenomenal actor for a while now, but really became popular after his role as Gus Fring in Breaking Bad, whose cold and calculated approach made him the eventual perfect adversary for Walter White. Esposito has gone on to play Moff Gideon in The Mandalorian, with his performance one of the standout moments of the show, as well as John Edgar in The Boys. Just imagine him going at it with his star Carl Urban. Esposito plays his characters with such poise and strength, and always seems to be one step ahead of everyone. But he also adds a lot of nuance to his performances, and is also terrifying when he gets mad. Also, like Jones, he has a power to his voice, and is not afraid to get what he wants. Next up is warrior, adventuress, and ally to Conan, Valeria. Valeria is a pirate who makes her living off the sea and is a skilled master of the sword who links up with Conan to take down Thalsa Doom. She is also known to be very attractive, with many men making their advances, but of course, she is not afraid to easily brush them aside. But who should play her? One actor who comes to mind is Baywatch star Alexandra Daddario. Daddario has proven herself to be a great actor, and could be a perfect fit for the character, especially with her piercing eyes that look deep into your soul. Although, the jury is out on whether she could play the tough character. Another star who is seemingly a favorite among fans is Australian model Abby Lee Kershaw. Kershaw, who played one of the wives in Mad Max Fury Road, also has the physical attributes of Valeria, and her role in Fury Road makes it easy for us to imagine her as Valeria. We now move on to the wizard Akiro. Akiro is the wizard of the mounds, and serves as Conan's advisor and chronicler in the movie, and is the one who tells Conan where to find Thalsa. Akiro also serves now and then as the comic relief, with him often finding himself in trouble, and is somewhat of an eccentric character. One person we would love to see play that part is George Takei from Star Trek. Takei and his sultry voice could potentially make a perfect Akiro, especially if he brings his zany energy to the forefront, and he could play the comedy along with the role as advisor with ease. Next on the list is another ally of Conan, Subutai. Subutai is an extremely talented archer, a skilled thief as well as being very handy with a blade making him an all-around well-trained fighter and important loyal ally. In fact, he is another character who accompanies Conan on his quest to find Thalsa and could be another character central to the plot. But it's not just his fighting capabilities that draws Conan to him, but his sharp wit and funny personality. All of these are traits shared by David Castaneda's Diego, or number two in Umbrella Academy, and he could seemingly be a perfect fit for the role. He certainly has the combat experience, and his dry remarks and wit is almost as sharp as his knives. Another actor that we would love to see return from the 2011 reboot, besides Momoa, is Hellboy and Sons of Anarchy star Ron Perlman. Let's face it, who doesn't love Ron Perlman? Perlman played Corrin in the remake, who is Conan's father, as well as their village's master blacksmith. Although Perlman's role in the movie is short-lived, with him getting killed early on, his death is one of the driving forces of the remake. They could give us more of Corrin's story through backstory if they do decide to continue on the course set in the 2011 movie. But if the TV series does decide to move away from the movie, then Perlman could get a fresh slate, and it would be great to see him play a father figure again after his bizarre pseudo-father figure relationship with Jax in Sons of Anna. Anarchy. Last on this list is the leader of Zamora and adversary to Thalsa, King Osric. King Osric is an affluent and witty man who finds himself harassed by Thalsa and the snake call to kidnap and hypnotize his daughter and hires Conan, Valeria, and Subotai to assist him in bringing her back. 
King Osric is played in the movie by the legendary late actor Mox Van Cito, and should have an actor up to his standing to play the part. One who comes to mind is John Wick and Deadwood actor Ian McShane. McShane is, in my opinion, one of the most underrated actors of all time, and holds an air of regality and finesse about him. He's clever, powerful, and quick with his wit, and could potentially make the perfect King Osric if given the chance. He often gets cast as the villain, but has a great deal of range to him. Another potential casting is the great director Werner Herzog, who played the client in The Mandalorian. While known for his work behind the camera, his role in Mandalorian was subtly brilliant and well received by the critics, and could be another one to play the part of King Osric. What did you make of this list? Unfortunately, we couldn't fit everyone on, but which characters would you like to see? And who would you like to play them? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe to Screen Rant for more great content.